Good morning. Today is Sunday, uh, August 13, 2023. I received a word from the Lord at 9.33 this morning, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, the Lord clarified, this is a word from my people. He also said all people. As always, the Bible encourages us to test every spirit. So that's what I want you to do. I want you to take this back to the Lord in your own personal prayer time. Um, to confirm or deny what you heard here today and also get um, any confirmation that you may need. This is what the Lord said. The signs of the times are evident. This is just the beginning of sorrows. Those closest to you will turn against you. If you are not for me, you are against me. I stretch out my hand to a people who shut their ears to me. They have been blinded by the God of this world, the prince of the power of the air, the father of lies. The wages of sin is death. I am the God of the living, not the dead. Many of you expose who you belong to, who your father is by the things you practice and partake in. You are a slave to whoever you obey. If you love me, you will obey my commands. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Their feet are swift to run to evil. They shed innocent blood. Their worship is a farce. Paths of righteousness they have not known. They prefer darkness to the light. Their desire is to please themselves. The ones who seek to please me, but the ones who seek to please me shall endure to the end. They remain unstained by the world. If you are not the salt of the earth, you are useless, good for nothing. I am coming back for a spotless bride, not an adulterous wife. Your loyalty wavers. Oh, that you were hot or cold, but because you are lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth, for you cannot serve two masters. You will love one and hate the other. Those of you who love the things of this world have made me an enemy for friendship with the world is enmity with God. My word is clear, but many of you reject the true living God and worship yourselves, money, fame, and fortune, but the earth is perishing and everything in it. I said to fix your eyes on heavenly things and store up tr your treasures there. But there is so much greed in your hearts, you are never satisfied, always complaining, discontent. Is my generosity not enough for you that you should always want more? You cannot love God and money. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Be content with what you have, and in due season you will reap if you faint not. You have not because you ask not. You ask and don't receive because you ask with the wrong motives. Many of you are too prideful to come to me to seek my face, to humble yourself and ask for forgiveness. I am he who can forgive your sin. The Lord of hosts is my name. I was pierced for your transgression. I was crushed for your iniquity. My chastisement brought you peace and by my wounds you are healed i was led like a lamb to the slaughter and like a sheep before his shearers open not my mouth i took the cup of wrath that was to be poured out on you upon myself so you could live and more abundantly my peace i leave to you my peace i give to you and not but not like the world gives the peace you receive from earthly pleasures is fleeting and temporal, but mine is eternal and surpasses understanding. Those living in rebellion who refuse to deny themselves, pick up their cross and follow me shall not enter into my rest. There is no rest for the wicked, but the sleep of my saints shall be sweet. They shall lie down and none shall make them afraid. I will surround them as with a wall of fire. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. If you resist the devil, he will, and there was emphasis on that, flee, but you must humble yourself. If my people seek my face and humble themselves, I will heal their land. But if they refuse to repent, I will destroy that land. I will devour that land. 
I will make it barren, a place for jackals, a wasteland, a shadow of what it once was. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, but I will be a refuge to those who call upon me with a pure heart, in sincerity and in faith, for it is by faith that you are justified and made righteous, not any works of your own. Put your faith in my only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. Turn to me and live.